What up, guys? It is Septem September. It's August 29th, and I just got off the phone with Sally Ekis, and she is part of the Lisa Ekis group, and they are a culinary literary agency that works with food talent. And we are working together on the Hopper Food Cookbook, so she's awesome. She's totally like on the same vibe as me. We get along. We just talked on the phone, but I totally trust them. My gut instinct said I needed to have, you know, an agent, somebody to like work out all the back end because I hate doing that stuff. So I am working with Sally Ekis and I'm very, very excited. And we have a book deal in the works. We have an offer. We're working on it. We're negotiating some stuff, but it's all happening. And now you can check out what I did this past weekend when I hung out in um, Elora and Guelph and Fergus with John. It is 4 p.m. on Friday and the weekend begins now. John and I shot a video this morning and then we decided we were gonna go to Alora, Ontario. And don't worry, you have enough food out and Auntie's coming to give you more tomorrow. <laughs> okay? Okay? Okay. He's hiding. John's finally ready. It took you so long, Lauren. Yeah, I've been ready for hours. <laughs> Days. Let's go. Sitting in traffic on the 401. And what am I doing? I am researching on happycow.net, the vegan places in Guelph, in Alora, Ontario. And I scored. There's a place called Crust and Pie that makes all vegan, non-GMO, amazing pies, sweet and savory. And they're at the farmer's market in Guelph in the morning. And there's a farmer's market in Guelph in the morning too, so that's exciting. So, always do your research. But no matter where you go, there's always something. Today we got an email from the publisher, whose name shall not be mentioned until it's official. Our first offer on our cookbook! Woohoo! Okay, well we basically found our dream home, and it's in Guelph. <laughs> there's an amazing property here, check this out. And then a tree house, which is where we're staying at the back. And look, there's a pool. This is so cute. And also, this woman who we just met, Nadine, is amazing. She's like, oh, I'm just decanting my kombucha in my dream home. I'm like, you're awesome. And she said she's been vegetarian and vegan and she loves food and all this stuff. So I knew I picked the right place when I saw it pop up. So it's got an outdoor shower, which is amazing. Look at this. Where's the Buddha? Oh my God, look. A Buddha in the outhouse. It's a nice outhouse though. Look it's at that. Cool. It oh really yeah, good. I would live in there. <laughs> oh, Marbolina's here just to make sure we're getting settled. You're not allowed in the tree house, she said. Oh yes, hello. Yep, we've got everything we need, yeah. Yes, we're good. Towels. <laughs> so yeah, it's just this cute little cabin, little fridge, that's it. And then this awesome property out here. Okay, we went and had some kombucha with Nadine and she's amazing and of course is like totally into all the stuff that we're into. Anyways, we're going to eat at this place called Cadence, which is a vegan restaurant in Guelph. And it looks very adorable and it has quite a varietal menu. <laughs> is that a word? Look at the cookbooks. It's a sign. It is a sign. It is a sign. <laughs> it's so cute in here. Oh, I'm a little bit obsessed with that right now. Maybe even the nachos. Green curry looks good. And the pasta looks really good. I really kind of want the pasta. This beer is so good. So good. John, get off your phone. I'm trying to find out where my sister lived. We're going to go to her old house. Okay, well this looks amazing. We've got the kale salad with the maple bacon, tempeh bacon. 
zucchini, chickpea fritters Corn with fritters? tofu sour cream, and this magical biscuits egg gravy. Biscuits so good and salty. Mm. Okay, so John and I decided to get away for the weekend so we could not work, even though I'm vlogging, but that doesn't count. Uh, vegan We're eating dinner and he's literally had three phone calls during dinner and he said to answer emails and I'm like, stop it. Anyways, it's kind of funny, but like, don't get mad at him. I'm just telling you, but he's on the phone now. Uh, we just needed a little weekend getaway, so we rented an Airbnb. Uh, out, like in Alora, and we're just gonna come here for dinner tonight, and then we're going to like Alora Gorge tomorrow, and all that crap. And all that. Okay, this is epic peach and ginger ice cream, homemade with da -da 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 -da, apple raspberry crisp and cashew cream. This is the church in Guelph. Oh. Where are we going? John wants to go to a bar, but I want to go home into the pool and the hot tub. Where are we gonna go? Relationships are about compromise. <laughs> Market. Someone's always compromising though. We're going to the Guelph Farmer's Market to get crust and pie. I want a savory pie. Look, they also make dumplings in addition to pie. That's true. It's not really in the food, it's just wanting everything. Is this going to be in your vlogging? Probably, we're vlogging, yay. This is Emily. Hi. <laughs> Okay, we're sitting outside of the farmer's market because I was setting up a, a crust and pie photo shoot like this. And then John went and got cups so we could put our cold brew that we bought in there. And then we got dumplings to eat with tofu mushroom and all the pies, all these pies. Mmm. Oh my God, these are so good. So much ginger, my favorite. And last night at the bar, what bar did we go to, John? McCabe's? Something like Michelle, that. Michelle, the bartender, was like, what are you guys doing in Guelph? <laughs> she was funny, and she bought our drinks for us. Oh my God. What up, Michelle? Okay, this is the Broly, which has portobello mushrooms, caramelized onions, leeks, a stout beer. Right, I'm digging in. Something like that. Oh baby. Dark. Look at that. Dark and stouty. How's the crust? Is it gluten free? Mm, probably not. I think it might be. Oh ma'am. Man, she knows how to make pie and dumplings. She doesn't make the dumplings. Yes, she does. Oh. It's a family business. I want, I want to try the crust on its own, to be honest. It's floofy. Oh, it needs to be heated up, but it's really good. Right amount of salt and everything. You can actually taste the stout. <coughs> you can really taste the stout. The Pinot Noir would be good too. Pinot Noir. There's one made with stout and one made with Pinot Noir. Pinot Noir, caviar, Pinot Noir, Myanmar. We're at the quarry. John and I always joke that if we had a kid, if we would call it quarry. <laughs> Actually, I think that's a good name. I've never been here, but John has. 
And then later we're gonna go tubing at the gorge. But now we're at the quarry. It's very busy. Very busy. Toy. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, hold on. I gotta film you. Hey, nerd alert. It's a literal zoo. This is crazy. Lauren's jumping off the kids one. So we've been waiting for a while to get our tube rentals and it closes in five minutes and we might be the last people that get the tubes and then there's this big lineup. But we're manifesting that we are the last ones or that we do get them. <laughs> okay, 5.01 p.m. The last people. Manifest your dreams. fries with really good house-made ketchup and I'm having a rhubarb saison. It's delicious. All right, just so you know, there's a cat cafe in Guelph. We happen to be walking by tonight on our way to dinner. Oh, you Go in? Yeah. It's just a $2 cover per person. Uh, can we go in? <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> oh my god, they're open. We can hang out with cats and it's like 9 o'clock at night. Want ice cream? <laughs> it's $2 cover, guys. Yeah. Uh, how much is this? You're my favorite. Look at you. Hi. Oh, look at your cute fur. Oh, are you bullying him? This little guy, he's so cute. Hi. Okay, oops. Deluxe Love Glove. Okay, now we're going to Sip Club. 
They have vegan eats in there. Hi, my name's John. I'll be your server tonight. We have a special on red wine. Thank you. Yeah. All right, so they have vegan options. So they've got the spread. They've got stuffed mushrooms, tofu nuggets, arepas, which are delicious, pickled chips, so much stuff. Then they've got salads, Buddha bowl. Oh my God, that looks good. Vegan Caesar. We're gonna have to get a lot of food. All right, friends, we got a dark and stormy on deck. All right, so they were out of homemade seitan, so they made tofu tacos, homemade french fries with nacho cheese, deep fried pickles, vegan ranch, vegan Caesar salad. Oh my God. Deep fried pickles, excuse me. Oh my god. That ranch. That ranch dough. Okay, look at these freaking things. Stuffed mushrooms. With what? Black bean something. This is crazy. The only thing we forgot to do was ask for corn tortillas for the top. Good night. So it's our last day here in Fergus. We went swimming by the pool this morning and, and Nadine made us coffee with coconut milk and we had watermelon. And now we're just saying goodbye to the cottage. And we're gonna go into Alora and go to Desert Rose Cafe, which is a vegetarian vegan cafe. And the owner, Risa, I think her name is, knows these guys. And they said that she would fix us up something awesome and vegan. So we're gonna go check that out. Go antiquing in Alora and then go hang out at John's uncle's house because he has a pool. Action packed weekend here. Oh man, I'm just like busy. Busy, 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 busy. And John's cup says the boss. <laughs> She's quite proud of. Baos. The Baos. And when we had an outdoor shower, oh my god, it was so nice. She's like, it's time to check out. It's 12 o'clock. And she came to bring us to our room before, which we're gonna check out now. All right. We're checking out this cute place in Elora. This is a Guelph brand of kombucha that we're drinking. Oh, it's so good. We got curried veg soup that looks delicious. It smells so good. We've got a vegan Mexican burrito that's wet with salsa. And this niswa salad minus the two. Three of us have one. I actually really like wet burritos. How is it? A little tasty. Allura's like a little time capsule. He's so good, he didn't even bark when we came in. He didn't even bark. Oh. <laughs> How come you're so sweet? <laughs>